This ought to be it. Well, out here ledge fishing, you know, catching them on big football jigs, drop shots, all that kind of stuff, just typical, typical Lake May stuff. We are on Lake Pickwick for a Bassmaster Elite event. Right now we're idling around, We've been out here for, I guess, three hours and something. We pretty much have out around the entire time with the exception of making it fish with a frog for about six minutes and I caught one so that's all good is it a bass Mr. Welch? oh it's kind of a good bass oh goodness look at that sucker choke dude And I just said I was going to get a video that today. That thing gone. Yeah, it's close to a four pounder. Update. <clears throat> Tough. Haven't fished very much at all today. What, what time is it? It is 4.20. So we have been out here for nine hours. Almost nine hours exactly. So we have put, I don't know, eight hours on the boat, I think today that means uh lots of seat time lots of looking found a bunch of brush piles handful of schools of fish but it ain't like you pull up and just get a bite on it it's tough that's what you, know, you think you got like 30 fish down there sitting in one spot you think you're just gonna pull up they gonna bite that ain't really how it works it's tough it's tough Oh, they're all good ones. I spy with my little eye. Come on. A little ace to the face. Got over here on some bushes. Here's some bluegill popping. See a mayfly or two just laid on the water. That's why I like. So this is not how I'm playing on fishing tournament. But on Pickwick, we have Listen to that one. You hear that one? You have uh, not that many schools, actually. Now, there's a bunch out there. I'm not saying there's like two. Probably 25, 30 schools on the lake. There could be more. But I'm talking like real good schools that I could actually find. You know, like some that are sneaky, super off the beaten path, stuff like that. You're not going to find those unless you have years of fishing here. And I obviously don't. But... There's 92 of us, and these dudes are pretty good, you know? So they're all gonna find the same thing. I found a bunch of them myself. Don't expect to have anything to myself. And just cause you're throwing in a wad of 25 fish does not mean that they're gonna bite for sure. So gotta kinda figure out a way to get a bite also, if you need to, you know, there's gonna be a lull at some point in the time every single day. And if you're running around, like I like to run around, you know, figure out a way to come get a bite on a jig or something, it could be a good one. So that's what kind of what we're doing. Just kind of trying to fish shallow, just trying to not overlook the obvious stuff. You know, it don't seem like it's super happening. Like offshore is good now. It's not but not bad. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like it's mind blowingly like, oh, this is all you can possibly do. Really seems like a few different things are gonna play this week. Uh, probably gonna be somebody catching good in the tail race, maybe not for four days. But definitely gonna catch them good for a day or two 
There's the people catch them fishing shallow, flipping boat docks, probably, you know, be somebody catch them good on a frog in some creeks, whatever it may be. I'm just saying it's going to be a pretty spread out tournament, I think, for some of the guys that are end up doing pretty well in this tournament, top 20s and stuff like that. I definitely think it's going to be one offshore. It's going to be one, I, I would say probably 96, 97% chance it's going to be one off a river ledge. You know, that's just how it's going to work. But, can't overlook the obvious sometimes. Especially when this is what you want to do in the first place. Is go flip a dang jig around. And he donked the donk. That's some, just taking out of it with it. That son of a, was like, Okay, I'll take you. Probably a keeper, maybe. He was right at it. I was gonna catch one swimming the old jig around these boat docks. That's a fat one, too. Hold up. Hold up. In the tournament, I'd be swan diving on him. That's a good keeper right there, I think. Fat one. I knew I was gonna catch one swimming one. Swim this little jig around this marina. This is not even a swim jig, this is just the ace. I really like that ace sometimes when I'm trying to imitate bluegill. I like the apex a lot, too. But sometimes this ace just skips so good. That's just kind of the jig I want to swim around. And I, I just love this jig, so. Just put up here beside these little floats. I think there's probably a shad spawn going on early in the morning. I wasn't here early, and I've been kind of not fishing shallow much this week, so I'm not 100% sure. I've seen a couple things that make me think there is one, though. Right now, we're really... In you know, swimming a bluegill jig, so I'm trying to imitate a bluegill. Which gets up here. Bluegill get up here around these floats and eat them shad eggs off of the floats and stuff. So Alright, this is day three of practice on Pickwick. Day one, we uh I think I've put about, I don't know, twenty three hours on the on my engine this week so far. That means we've been we've had this sucker crank crunk up for twenty three hours of practice, which is a lot. There's one that just blew up in there now. That's a lot of hours on the boat for, you know, two days so far of practice. I'm sure, I'll put another seven or eight on it today. Plan on fishing a little bit more today. Graft a whole bunch of this lake so far. Not all of it by any means, but all of it that makes sense to me that fish should be there. Pretty much graft it, you know, as far as, at, at least on the lower half. Now, there's going to be some off the wall stuff that I didn't key on just because I don't know. I don't know that they even would ever get there. I mean, that's the kind of thing until you see them on a type of place. You don't know to look for that type of place. So, as far as where I understand fish get offshore, graft a good bit of it so far. But, we'll see. I mean, this is day three of practice. Plan on fishing a little more today. I haven't caught very many fish at all. I just want to kind of get some confidence in a couple of baits to run around with. I don't like staying put and cycling through an area and really rotating through baits. That's not really my style. I just want to get a couple of baits where I've got some confidence that, hey, if I want to get a bite, these are the couple of baits to throw. If I want to catch a big one, this might be the couple of baits to throw. So that's kind of where I'm at with it and what I'm trying to do. So we'll just uh, fish a little bit today and see if we can get a bite. I hope so. Yeah. Hope it's a spot day. Mm -hmm. Down the fountain. Spot day in it up. Bringing up a little jig, the Ace, Ace Areno. Um, just kind of tied it on last night. Lots of bluegill spawning, lots of bluegill beds. Put me on a don't color because it imitates bluegill pretty good. And I just kind of skipped it around docks, caught two off docks, caught one flipping in a tree, and just caught one on it in a brush pile. So I'm hoping. I have figured out a bait that they that they want to eat and I could throw it you know I don't want to throw this out it's only half ounce so I don't want to throw it out in like 25 feet but if they're gonna bite it I will and uh, you know just kind of trying to get something dialed in that I got a lot of confidence in to pick up if it gets tough because 
usually in these ledge fishing tournaments, it gets tough for a big portion of the day. They're small flurries, and you gotta grind. You pick up one here, one there, and then, you know, have a good bag at the end of the day if you can have just, I mean, really two flurries. If you have two flurries and catch one or two for, you know, the three or four hours in, in between, come out with a good bag. You know, you get seven, eight, nine keepers, even sometimes more keepers, and you come in with a good bag. So just kind of trying to figure out a bait that whenever it gets tough, I got a lot of confidence in. If I want to run around, if I want to go fish brush piles, docks, little current breaks, you know, flip some trees, whatever, you know, you can get some bites fishing relatively shallow. Haven't caught any big ones shallow. Had one really nice bite shallow yesterday. Didn't hook him though, but he bit that dang frog. And uh, you know, that's just kind of what comes with the territory whenever you're fishing shallow this time of year is you don't know when you're gonna get a big bite. It's not predictable and you just kind of got to weed through them. Offshore, kind of the same thing, but you got a lot more fish sitting there. And it seems like offshore, a lot of times the most aggressive fish are a little bit bigger. I don't know why, just kind of what it seems like. So we're going to retie the jig, put a new trailer on it, throw it in maybe a couple more brush piles. I don't really want to catch any fish because we don't have an off day in this one or anything. So all the people that are catching them off ledges and catching them off docks and stuff, they're kind of catching fish that may or may not bite again. So I try to shake most of them off that I can get a bite. So from now on, I might catch one or two more on this thing, but a little ace until I've been skipping around docks. I've been Knock a little bit of paint off. Yeah. 